All right, so we're recording now. It looks like it kicked someone out by accident. I don't know what happened. All right, so we just did a rectangle on the middle of our paper, and that's going to be the back of the wall. Now, on each corner of the rectangle, I want you guys to draw a diagonal line going away from it. Just like this. Here. Another one here. And here. Sure, you can be right back. That's fine. Just like that. Now, what we just did was a simple but effective way how to draw an interior of a room. So again, let me just label a couple things. This right here is the back wall. These two sections beside them is the side walls. The rhombus below is the floor. And then the upside down rhombus right here is the ceiling. Okay. Now, what I did last class was I did kind of a scene related to the holidays. So I created a figure or a person standing. Um, I did a tree. I did like a fireplace, kind of like a block right there. and even did a window. Now, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with this room. But um, what we did last class was we kind of did the figure first and we went from there. Um, I'm going to try to do the opposite with you guys. So your options are this. You can either do... I have a question own. before we do this. Can it be like without a person and just be like a dream room? Yes. So let me get through the options first. So the first option is, again, like kind of like what uh, he said. It can be your own room. It could be any room that you would want to do. Option number two, uh, like how I did with the last class, it could be a holiday festive room. Or option number three, it could be like a realistic one of the rooms in your house. It could be the room that you're in right now. All right. Well, that said, before I get started, uh, one more question. Joey, did you have a question? Could we do like bedrooms? Yeah, I don't see why not. That could be like your own room. All right. I'm going to do uh, a room of my choice. I already did a holiday festive room. So if you want to do something festive, my best suggestion, if I were you, would be to do the tree first. And then as you can see, that's why I did it in pencil first. I started erasing inside the tree already because the corner of the room was in the way. And then I erased parts of the fireplace. That way it wasn't um, getting uh, interrupted by the line over there. So that was my first suggestion if you're doing like a holiday themed room. All right, well that said, let me give you guys some basics first. Um, you guys can go on on your own if you want and draw, continue drawing. But um, this is what I would do if I were to do a room. So the first thing I'd do would be to create maybe like the, the side of the bed. So maybe I'll do a rectangle here to start from this wall all the way across, up. So there's my rectangle. So that's the side of the bed. That's how I would do it. And then I'll go towards the edge of the wall, back wall right there, and make another vertical line. And then attach it to that part of the rectangle. So kind of like one like that. So you can kind of see the shape of the bed of forming. It's great. That's what I would do. And I go from here to this corner of the wall. And then I'll kind of go match this point to the one I just started with. So that's how I would create a bed. And then there's some obvious points where you would erase. Uh, I'm going to erase them right now. So I would erase this part of the wall. So I'd erase this corner. I'd erase this horizontal line all the way across. And then I'd probably erase this diagonal line over here. And that way I got the bed started. So now I can start decorating the bed if I want. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see what I just did. So here's a pillow maybe. Here's a bed pillar, one side. Here's another pillar. Here's another one on this side. Give me another one right here. And then the bed's already drawn for me. And I can create, can I create wavy lines on the bottom to symbolize a blanket. There we go. Pretty cool. 
So that's how to do a bed in a 3D dimensional room. Do that. Let's see, what else can I add? I could probably add a cool desk or something. So for a desk, I would draw a rectangle to represent the edge of the, the desk. So here is the edge of the desk. There's my rectangle. And then I'll go all, so if I want this desk to be all the way to the end of the room, I'd go from here all the way to this line right there where it would stop. I'll go up this much. And then since it's attached to the wall or near the wall, I'd go all the way across. And then I'd attach the points. So here's an attachment to this point, attached to this one, and then obviously I would erase the parts I don't need. All right, it's a little bit taller than a desk, but I guess it could be a shelf if I wanted to. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. All right, if you uh, drew with me, then great. If you didn't, and if you want to share what you did for the room, uh, you can hold up to your camera right now. And in about a minute or so, we're going to have some volunteers. Mr. Mill, I have an idea for what that thing yeah. can be. It can be a on-the-ground fish tank. Yeah, I could do that too. All right. Does anyone uh, just want to hold theirs up? And then in about a minute, we will just move on to sharing any other artwork that you have. All right, cool. I see Kellen's holding up his. Um, I see a lot of cameras off, though. It's about 10 of you guys have their cameras off. Um, anyone else want to share? All right. I see Zuleika's holding her three-dimensional room up. I see how you did the tree, the fireplace. Good job. Awesome job. I'm really cool. just turned off. All right. With that said, Brennan, good job. All right. With that said, what I want you guys to do now is um is there any volunteers that would want to share anything that's not from this lesson anyone else want to share some other artwork that they've done all right kellen you can go first go ahead i'm not totally done with it but i made overlapping circles and i'm going to color the outline so that it st um sticks out good job all right i'm going to flip this so you guys can see this one by the way and anyone else want to share Anything else? All right, Sanaya, I saw your hand up. Go ahead. Oh, neat. That's super colorful. I made this yesterday. I made this, I think, like a few years ago. And then this one was for my cousin's ninth birthday party, and I just painted it. Neat job. All right. Anyone else would like to share? Kira, go ahead. Um, I made this for Thanksgiving a couple weeks ago. So oh, like pumpkin pie. pie. The whipped cream, nice. Oh, and Elijah's been showing us his uh, Darth Vader drawing, too. Cool. All right, we do have time for more. Um, let me just stop the recording, though. I forgot to stop the recording.